Okay, so the model I'd like to introduce now is the Stages of Change model. It's a coaching model that was used for cigarette smoking to assist people that were in a culture of addiction around nicotine. And uh, the Stages of Change model works like this. People are in a state of pre-contemplation. They aren't even considering stopping. There's too much benefit for the substance. They love the behavior too much. So with cigarette smoking, I love the ritual of having a cigarette. I love smoking with my friends. I love uh, waking up in the morning and having a coffee and a fag. I love a cigarette after sex. The ritual around it and the benefit and the pleasure that the person's receiving from the substance is uh, their thinking is in a state of pre-contemplation. The person then moves on to the contemplation, contemplate, contemplation stage where they're starting to think about the consequences of the behavior. Uh, morning cough, lung cancer, throat cancer, getting thrown out of uh, pubs, not allowed to smoke in public places, uh, getting shunned by society, stigmatized, all that, all the, 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 the there's systemic pressure for the person to start contemplating and preparing themselves for uh, treatment or to take action to stop smoking cigarettes. So on the 31st of December, I'm going to stop smoking cigarettes and uh, I'm going to stop. And by the 15th of December, the person starts to think, uh, let me just have one cigarette. I've stopped now. It wasn't so bad. I wasn't that addicted. Let me just have one. And then they have one and of course the cycle continues and they go back to the contemplation contemplation stage. They cannot go back to pre-contemplation because the psyche has changed. So they're in a state of, oh no, I've, I've relapsed, I'm addicted again, I'm using and I'm going to have to prepare myself to stop again and take action. But this time when I take action, I'm going to deeper the learning and realize what made me pick up in the first place the last time. So this time I'm going to stop, I'm going to take uh, Zyban, I'm going to get some treatment or something, some medication to help with the cravings and do that for a while. I'm going to chew Nicorettes, uh, whatever it is, and then the person carries on again and then they'll relapse again for some whatever reason. Until the time comes when they've learned enough about their relapses to actually prepare themselves for long-term recovery and then they move into the maintenance stage. So that's really the model. It's uh, called the stages of change model. It starts with pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, the relapse cycle and eventually moving on to maintenance. Um, and this happens with any substance. It's this one is just with nicotine, but you could, uh, you could put it with alcohol, you could use it with uh, marijuana, you could use it with opiates, whatever. whatever. Um, and we as recovery coaches need to be able to assess where our client is and at what stage of the cycle they're at and to have conversations with them around their dependence and then their denial around that to assist them in moving to a culture of recovery. That's all for today. Thanks.